hey guys so in this youtube video i'm going to be showing you all the different places that i ate from while i recently stayed in grenada for about a month and a half and it's not just restaurants it's also local places or people that make food out of their house people on instagram etc but yeah this road right here is called the marquee and it is on the way to our first destination called bumpy corner restaurant called bumpy corner the menu for bumpy corner and my mom and Shatonia are taking pictures and this is me and this is Nana and this is the bar from bumpy corner and I love how it looks like with the mountains cut okay. in the clouds. To tell you guys what Bumpy Corner is. Okay, so Bumpy Corner, um, it has to do mainly with the road. The fact that the road there is bumpy and I guess um, they're fed from that and named the restaurant and bar Bumpy Corner. Okay. It's a popular, um, well-known eatery, uh, restaurant, bar, you know, it's unlike the traditional restaurant and bar you know it's by the side kind of you know get away you know so feel free come to the bumpy corner restaurant and bar and nana is having a rum punch <laughs> okay. i ordered chicken and chips with cajun fries that's the chips from bumpy corner then they got paylao with coleslaw and fried food Payloud is chicken and rice mixed together. This is the margarita that I got from here. I'm gonna try some of my mom's food. Let me put it back so you guys can see. This is the payloud. So let's for a series of three one day internationals against India starting on Friday very good. after he was rested for the matches and I don't like Pela, but it tastes very to good. help manage his workload this as one of is the West Indies all former player and finally wildfires are raging across Europe where Good the too. has intensified drought conditions. Yeah. Right temperatures I'm not going to try the plantains because there's only two. This is the pathway to the bathroom at Bumpy Corner. I think it's down here, but it has a very nice overlooking. Here it is. Overall, I would give Bumpy Corner a 7 out of 10. They have very good food, but it is a limited menu and the menu is usually random. They just have whatever they have, whichever day. Also, it is kind of far and it's in the cut in a way. Like, I think the only way you would know about this restaurant is if you're from Grenada. This is the road on the way to our next destination called Petite Ants. So guys, we are at a restaurant called Petite Ants. Oh yes. Um, it's just a stone throw from the main town, uh -huh. St. Patrick, uh -huh. the most northerly of parishes, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it has a, the food is good, the ambiance is good. I mean, uh -huh. the lookout to be on the islands is magnificent. Uh -huh. You know, it's a place that uh, people can, on their visit to Grenada, definitely make as part of their journey around the island. And we are gonna let you guys see how it is as we eat here. As soon as you walk in to the left, they have these nice lounging chairs. And I believe this restaurant is a hotel as well. Then they have a nice pool. Then to the right, they have reception for the hotel. Then they have an outside dining area and then an inside dining area and then they have a patio outside where you can view the ocean and the other islands right here this is the location of where how the, the islands are located you different can islands st vincent's out here st vincent union island union island Diamond Rock, Caracou, Caracou Isle de Ron, Letant, Isle de Foy, 
and Lon London Bridge and, and Sugarloaf. Sugar this okay. is the way to the bathroom at this restaurant. You walk all the way down. And it is right here. This is a map of all the Caribbean islands and this is where I live right here. And this is Grenada. This is the drinks menu at Petite Anne's. They have a wide selection. And I believe these are the mixed drinks. This is the food menu. And the lunch menu. This is Melvin. He's the bartender at Petite Anne's. And he's creating a drink for me. I told him that I wanted a pina colada blended with ice, nutmeg, and bay leaf. She's gonna get it because she's in the spice aisle. Of course. So this is him making it right now. This is the drink, my creation. It looks delicious and I'm sure it tastes delicious too. The best drink I ever drank in my life. Mm. You guys need to try that. Nana wants to try it. Good. I I made it. Pizza. It's all pepperoni and half peppers. So we're gonna let you guys know how that tastes. That in the restaurant that falls under the table. Overall, I would give Petite Ants a 6.5 out of 10. In my opinion, the restaurant food is extremely Americanized. It's nothing but chicken, chips, burgers, and pizza. There's like no authentic Grenadian food. And a lot of Grenadian restaurants are like that. All they sell is American food. So this so happens to be one of those restaurants. Also, I don't want a cat crawling all over my feet while I'm eating. But don't get me wrong, they have a very nice scenery, very, very, very beautiful scenery. The drinks are delicious, but overpriced. But overall, I would rate it a 6.5 out of 10. Me, Cavi, Charmaine, and Stacy are at Coconut Beach right now, and it is jumping. What is the vibe? It's an all white party. Whoa, almost dropped my phone, but I'm not wearing all white wearing some mixed match dress because there's gonna be another all white party and I need to save my good all white outfit for that and I only brought one. So just know if you come to Grenada during carnival time, you need to have a few all white outfits because it's a lot of all white parties. This restaurant is super busy, way busier than the last time I came here. You guys can see the last time I came here on my first Grenada vlog that I did. This was in December around Christmas time, but like I said, it gets very busy here around carnival. If, if, if she has it, then it's hers. Come on, come, come verify, come verify, come verify. Come verify. Overall, I would rate Coconut Beach an 8 out of 10. I love the ambiance and the atmosphere at Coconut Beach. It is right on the beach on Grand Anse. And I think the scenery is just amazing food wise i don't think they have the best food but don't get me wrong it's not nasty at all i would definitely eat there again in this particular video it you don't see me eating there but i have eaten there in the past and it is good i would eat there again but i would more so go for the parties so i would recommend coconut beach we at we outside bar because we outside i'm with whoa Shit, I almost crashed. We in the country. Look at this Mako. That's what they call him a Mako. We were looking for where he went today. <laughs> Wait, let me go where I'm going.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. They mad, y'all. As you can tell from the previous videos, I was drunk. But from what I can tell you, I would rate this restaurant, well, bar, a 6 out of 10. It's a nice little spot up in the country, but I don't think it's somewhere that I would go out of my way to go to. But if I'm in the country, I would definitely stop there and I would recommend going there if you're in the area. Today we're at Prickly Bay Waterside and I am with Auntie Carol and Minnie. This is the entrance of Prickly Bay. They also have a live band and a bar, it seems like. So I'll show you guys what it looks like once we walk inside. And it's also next to a marina. You can't really see in the nighttime, but these are all the yachts and everything. This is the drinks menu for this restaurant. I had to do a voiceover because this restaurant is super loud, like disgustingly loud. You cannot hear anything. This is the food menu. Um, it's very americanized to me burgers and pizza there's like nothing grenadian on this menu at all it's american food that doesn't taste good so i got a frozen margarita they literally gave me this drink spilling all over the place as you can see They gave us fried roti skin as an appetizer that my aunt had ordered. It was delicious, but it was the only good thing we had. Then they gave me some raw chicken wings three hours after I ordered them. I'll show you guys a picture of that right here. After I told them the chicken was raw, they let me exchange it for some pumpkin soup. But when I got it, I realized it's not pumpkin soup. It's actually Kalaloo soup, which I hate. So I had to give that back too. Overall, I'd give Prickly Bay a 0 out of 10. They had absolutely horrible customer service, disgusting food, and they took three hours just to give us the disgusting food. I would highly not recommend. These are coconut tarts. These are beef tarts. I can't see people putting chunk of meat on a plate. Oh, no. And you made these, right? Yeah. And she made... Oh, you don't. Never mind. Go ahead and know me. Yes. And she made the all the past... the pastries yeah. gotta get my words together we're at 61 west restaurant and beach bar on grand Anne's beach as you can see the ocean is right there we are here in the nighttime and here i am with my big group right here this is the drinks menu I got a rosé, which is rosé and strawberries blended up together. All of them? Are you sure? These are the white barbecue wings, Asian tang, and the fried vegetables. The entire restaurant is covered in sand. There's no floor, it's just sand. Rate 61 West a 9 out of 10. The food was absolutely delicious. The only thing I didn't like was the white barbecue wings because it wasn't actually white barbecue. It was just wings covered in mayonnaise because they do a strange thing in Grenada where they put mayonnaise on fried chicken. I don't know why, they just do it. But the ambiance is amazing. The, the other food is good. The drinks are amazing and i feel like it's a good price and a very good location so i would highly recommend it's one of my favorite restaurants in grenada back at bumpy corner again mm. we got paylow again same thing on the menu 
This time with no plain crumbs. And Micah got chicken and chips. Chicken wings and french fries. So, this is a brownie. Y'all know I used to make brownies, so. We're gonna see how those taste. And I ordered chocolate chip cookies, and these are the chocolate chip cookies. And they look like M&M cookies. So we're gonna see how these taste. Apparently, it's very hard to find chocolate chips in Grenada, which is why the person probably used M&Ms instead of actual chocolate chips. By the way, do not recommend the cake. It was very dry, very dense. Highly do not recommend. Just saying. So me and Micah are out eating at 61 West, and we got the pork belly tostadas, the crispy vegetables, and the chili Asian wings, spicy Asian tang. Hello, say hi. Why are you acting like you don't see? So, I think the food here tastes pretty decent. It's a good scenery. And yeah. Right now, it is 10 of us meeting up at the restaurant called Dexter's. It looks like it's in someone's house. And it's in Granite's, I believe. This is the chef from Dexter's talking to us at the table. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this man a long time. No, he was saying the same thing. He was saying the same thing. I'm yeah. telling him, I say, well, you see, when, when you hear somebody say Dexter, I say, well, that's me. Something fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I experimented in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. really. thing yeah, I see yeah. a bit. I see yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see a bit. I see a bit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you all have a five-course a five meal, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Right. <laughs> you have three starter portion, which is not big. You have your main course and then your dessert. You know exactly how much you're spending by the main course you choose. Mm -hmm. Because your drinks are included in the price. Mm -hmm. Okay? Unlimited drink? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you switch drinks? Oh. Just don't get drunk and fall <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now you know exactly how much you're spending by the main course you choose, as I said. If you choose chicken, it's 100 EC. Mm -hmm. Shrimp is 150. Pork is 160, mm -hmm. duck is 170, mm -hmm. steak is 165, mm -hmm. beef stroganoff is also 165. Mm -hmm. Then you have soft and tough, that is 200 EC. Right. Now they normally say soft is from the sea and tough is from the land. Mm -hmm. But here I allow you to choose any two main courses, oh. and that is your soft and tough. Because oh, some okay. people don't eat seafood, mm -hmm. some people don't eat beef. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I allow you to choose any two main courses, that is your soft and tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we're going to run you through the entire menu, then I'm going to leave. Kevin going to come take your main course order, your drinks order, and then we're going to start. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start you off with a butternut squash and coconut risotto. Mm -hmm. In the risotto, you're going to get some chai. Also, you're going to get some palms and cheese. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, you're going to get some balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. You're also going to get a stick of fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. Now, the parsley is not for decoration. Mm -hmm. The parsley is for you to eat after you finish cooking mm -hmm. the risotto. What the parsley does, it cleanses your palate and also settles your stomach. Because you're having five courses and the five courses completely different in taste and texture, you really need that parsley so you can appreciate the next course. Course number two is going to be a soup course. And the soup I have for you tonight is cream of pumpkin soup with a hint of ginger inside of it. No, I normally don't serve the soup with any bread. Right. Because two things fully up when you have in five courses. Bread and liquid. Mm -hmm. If you so wish, you can have some hot bread on sorry, wheat bread downstairs. You can always sit here with it if you need some bread, I'm gonna send it up for you with yourself. Mm -hmm. Course number three, gonna be a fish course. Mm -hmm. And the fish I have for you tonight is pan fried by fruta. That will be served with a plantain cake. And on top of the plantain cake, you're gonna get a mango and avocado salsa. Mm -hmm. You're also gonna get a lime vinegar going around it. Mm -hmm. and a stick of fresh parsley and remember what the parsley is for. Sure. So these are your starters, they're just common banquet style unless you're allergic to something. So the first course is a risotto. It looks like it has corn in it or something. And he said that we have to eat the parsley on the side to cleanse our palate for the next course. No, that's yours. Thank you. So you get unlimited drinks. So this is red wine and then fresh local passion fruit juice. So some of us got 
white wine, no, some of us no, got passion fruit like juice, some have both, both, and whatnot. Eat your parsley. I've been eating because I heard what he said, and I already know how my stomach is. Do it one more time for the camera. <laughs> so good. No. <laughs> We're gonna see how this tastes right now. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. Everything you think is delicious. Everything you think is delicious. Oh, that's good. No, it's very good. It has no nothing in it though. It's like a puree, but it's very good though. Some purees don't have no flavor, but this one does. And then they also have bread. Everything you, that you people don't like, Les Hot eats it. He has two plates. Ah, uh, that's a cleanup man. Just remember. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, this is Mr. Waste Not. Waste Not. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is the chocolate banana pudding. With sour sub ice cream. This is the apple crisp with sour sub ice cream. And my mom got all three because it's about to be her birthday. And the extra thing she got was the vanilla cheesecake. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. The sour sub ice cream is good, but the nutmeg ice cream is even better. I never even had or heard of nutmeg ice cream. Wow. Delicious. That's what you pick the ice cream. This is what the inside of the chocolate banana pudding looks like. Rex. It's not really Rex like a uh, pudding, it's Rex? more like a cake, bread type of thing, like banana chocolate bread, somewhat like that. <laughs> Overall, I would rate Dexter's a 9 out of 10. I didn't actually eat anything that was unappealing at this restaurant other than my main course, which was chicken. I didn't really care for it at all. It was like stuffed with something. I'm not sure what it was, but I didn't really care for it. I actually pref preferred the shrimp instead. Um, if you go there and you like shrimp, I would recommend getting the shrimp over chicken. But everything else was actually extremely good. And even though the setting is in someone's house per se it's not actually like you're in a house it's like a restaurant setting but they made it in a house to give it a more homey feel which i do like about it so i would recommend this restaurant i also feel like for the amount of money that you're gonna spend you get a lot of food five courses for 150 160 170 that's cheap to get that much food so i would definitely recommend this restaurant at Spice Affair, we ordered the chicken tikka masala. It's red. Some butter naan bread. And some chicken fried rice. And then some soup. I think it's corn soup. So this is the chicken fried rice. I love this rice. It's basmati rice. It's my favorite type of rice. No, eat all. You know, much for it, you better eat it. The rice tastes like how it smells. It's fragrant rice, so it has a smell, but it's a good smell. How did she lie? No. She, she sprayed cologne in the rice. No, I'm telling the truth. And this is the shrimp jalessi. In a thick red sauce. <laughs> Spice of Fear food is delicious. One of the best places to enjoy a good meal, nice atmosphere here in St. George's Grenada. Oh, what is she?
she an air hostess? <laughs> now look at her plate. Wow. <laughs> look at the way everybody scraped their plates clean. And she's still scraping for more. <laughs> You guys already heard my grandma say it, but I'll say it again. Spice Affair is definitely one of the best places to get food from in Grenada, especially if you like Indian food. So do need to include, they are kind of pricey for the amount of food that you get, so keep that in mind. What is that? So we came back to Spice Affair and we got more shrimp, butter naan, the beef, shezwan, something, and the chicken fried rice. Can you bring the lamb? Is and that the, the lamb? Lamb biryani. The lamb is in here. This is a better view and the butter man. Okay. So on the better view. It's Panther's birthday. Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Panther. Oh. <laughs> Day to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. Woo! So right now at Spice Affair, we're at the same restaurant as the Prime Minister of Grenada. Yeah, get my picture with him quick. Oh, I'll take it. You take it. You take it. Thank you. They are going first, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I think that's who. I think that's who? The owner of the restaurant. So uh, you could see that. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, I got it. It's okay to vlog. Okay, so right now this is the Prime Minister of Grenada. Right here at the same restaurant as me. Let me flip yeah, this So camera. here he is. We're at Spice Affair right now. And you had a good time? Good yes, food? I had a good time. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. The food was good. good. Yes, it was very good. I love Indian food actually. Well, we have something in common. I love Indian food. So. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorite restaurants. So. Me too. Right, okay. Fantastic. Yes, so here he is, guys. Okay, bye. So right now, I'm with Miracle and Hillary, and we're at the brewery. Oh, so where would I be? And it's near SGU. Here at the brewery, they make their own ciders and draft beers. And this is all the different beers that they have going around the table. And it's written on the board right here as well. So they let you take samples before you actually buy them. And that's all the samples that we've taken so far. This is the old mongoose, a smooth quarter. One time in the camera. It was camera shy. Ooh, it looks good. Overall, I would rate the brewery a 7 out of 10. They also have a very Americanized food menu. But the food you do order is actually very decent. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's decent. It's edible. The burger is the bomb. But the tacos and the pizza, they're okay. Um, the beer is very good if you are a beer person. I'm not a beer person, so I didn't really care for the beer. But there were a few of the ciders and the beers that were good, but I'm still not a beer person. But overall, I I would say a 7 out of 10. I do like the atmosphere and the brewery in the nighttime is especially fun. Like, way more fun than during the day. So... A girl makes food out of her house, and today she made crab and dumplings, shrimp and dumplings, lambie. oh, lambie, which is conch and dumplings, and they also had chicken and dumplings, but we didn't get those, that one. 
but it looks very good. So it's called the cook up, and that's the daily menu. Yeah, here it is. Y'all, this is the food in a bowl, and it is very delicious. It's just mm -hmm. dumplings, conch, and crab, but it's very good. I think this is one of the best foods I ate since I've been here. So, y'all, I am not exaggerating, but I really do think this girl makes the best food I've eaten in Grenada, like, period, ever. She makes such good food. That was chow mein and saltfish and provisions. And let me tell you, everything she makes is the bomb. And she makes food out of her house. And in Grenada, in my opinion, sometimes the food that people make out of their house tastes better than the food in restaurants. And don't get me wrong, this is a restaurant review video. But I'm still going to give you places outside of the restaurants because if you really want good food... The restaurants is not always the way to go. So I really would rank this either number one or number two above all else. So guys, I just bought food from Joe and Kim on Instagram. This is a vegan meal. It's Creole sour sub, plantains, okra, rice and peas, and I think pumpkin. And my grandma's eating it. What? This, this is the kind of meal people need? Yeah, what is this? No, 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 this that you just ate. Chicken? No, it tastes like fish, right? Fish. fish. But it's not fish, it's sour Stop. sup. Somebody it tastes identical to fish, but there is no fish in it. Very good. So, y'all, we got this food from a man on Instagram named Joachim. He makes some of the best vegan food I've ever eaten. Like, not even some of the best, he makes the best vegan food I've eaten. Because. Every time I eat vegan food, it's usually bland and it's got nothing going on. Very boring and dull. But for some reason, every time I eat his food, if you didn't tell me it was vegan, I would think that there was meat in it or something. Because he, you, listen, you would trick me with the way that his food tastes. And the girl I just um, put beforehand, you know how I said she's either one or two? Well, he's either one or two. It's a it's a tie between them two. If you like vegan food, I, you would love his food. I highly recommend. And like I said, you get the best food from people that make it in their house, not restaurants. So I would rate his food a 10 out of 10. So we just stopped at East 95 Restaurant and Bar. I think they just opened up. And that's the menu right there. They just have the menu. We saw it while we were driving, and that's why we stopped here. It's so clean inside. Ooh, I like it here. I think I made a good choice. Hi. This is me in the bathroom, and the bathroom is also very clean compared to the other places we, we went out today. Hmm. This bathroom is lovely. Well, I would rate this restaurant a 6 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, the restaurant is clean, 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 clean. One of the cleanest restaurants I've seen in Grenada, hands down. But we ordered the lambie soup, and when we got the soup, it was very watery, barely had seasoning, and the lambie was extremely chewy, like very chewy. It was like chewing gum or rubber, something like that. Um, And then they also had bakes and sawfish sitting under a heat lamp that looked like it had been there since morning time and mind you around the time i recorded this it was about 5 p.m so i don't know what they have going on but i would rate this a six out of ten also has a very nice view here if you want to go somewhere with a very nice view i would recommend this place but food wise i'm not so sure i would recommend this place before I go, I'm going to rate the restaurants from best to worst, in my opinion. Coming in at number 12, the worst would be Prickly Bay. Number 11 would have to be the East 95. 10 would be We Outside Bar. Number 9 would be Petite Anne's Hotel and Restaurant. Number 8 would be the West Indies Beer Company, also known as The Brewery. Number 7 would be Bumpy Corner. Number 6 would be Coconut Beach. Number 5 would be Dexter's. Number four would be 61 Degrees West. Yeah. Number three would be Spice Affair. And drum roll, please. We have a tie for first place, and that would be 
Joachim and the cookup 473. So that pretty much concludes the end of my video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you guys ever tried any of the restaurants I talked about or if you are going to try them. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.